Good morning. I'm going out outside of my box here a little bit, my comfort zone. As I'm driving to work. I wanted to share a story with you. It's a kindergarten story or a Sunday school story, but you know, some of those stories still have meaning and still have impact and power in our lives today if we let it. And that story is Paul and Silas. Uh, a couple of preachers back in the day that we're preaching the gospel, sharing the good word with the people in the city, and they got railroaded. They got shanghai so to speak. Run through the court system, and <clears throat> they were put in jail, in the inner part of the jail, according to what the scripture says. So probably the darkest, deepest place, deepest hole they could find them put them in there <coughs> and you sit there and you think about that here it is midnight darkest hour of their life they've been wronged they did nothing wrong court system was against them judicial system which was supposed to be fair was against them the people the whole town is against them well the majority of them anyways you sit there and you look at that. In their darkest hour, they prayed and they sang to the Lord. That alone takes courage. At least the singing part does, I'm sure. Who wants to sing when they're in the middle of a prison? Darkest hour of their life. And things are just going wrong. But they prayed and they sang in their darkest hour. They didn't know what was going to happen. They didn't know what tomorrow was going to bring. Things looked damn bleak. But as they prayed and as they sang, They shook their world. They shook their world. They opened every door in their world. They freed everybody. People they didn't even know. Circumstances they didn't know. Lives they didn't know. Families they didn't know. They freed everybody in their world. Of course, the jailer, he's kind of freaking out a little bit. He's going to commit suicide. Because he thought all of them had escaped. Paul and Silas cried out. Told him that they were all still there. <coughs> that jailer took them. Took them to his house. He prepared a feast. He fed them. He bathed them, give them spa treatment, if you want to say. Bandage their wounds, give them medical treatment. Paul and Silas still, still were sharing the good word. And that jailer and all of his, as the scripture says, were saved. They got legal counsel. They were freed from their wrongfully charged case they were freed from their prison how many lives can you change when you think the world is against you when you think it's the darkest hour of your life how many lives can you change if you would just pray and sing to the Lord how much, how many doors do you think you could open if in your darkest hour you, you prayed and you sang to the Lord? This has been a story that has been with me for ever since I've heard it. And it's still, every time I say it, every time I talk about it, it still brings me to tears. It's still... 
brings hope to my life. I want you to go out today. I want you to thank the Lord for what you have. Be blessed, my friend. Have a wonderful day.